Cybertruck is going to be awesome. I mean, you see it here, you've seen it before, you see it over there. It's worth, it's worth the wait, believe me. When it comes to the most special part of the Cybertruck, none can argue that it isn't the tire. The new version of the Cybertruck tires is very unique. It's never even appeared on the EV market because it is a spaceship tire. It would be interesting if you could own a pickup truck with tires like a spaceship. So how are these wheels designed and what advantages do they have? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. The U.S. Transport Safety Board says that over 30,000 incidents happen every year directly because of tire failure. These failures also happen on your way home. One hole in the rubber tubing means that the whole thing has to be scrapped. This could account for up to 20% of all tires sold, amounting to 200 million tires thrown out every year, which is enough to build a tower 21,000 miles tall if the sides of the tires were stacked on top of each other. Tesla, we always want to have the production car be better than the show car. It, like, it always drove me crazy when like, manufacturers would come out with this cool looking show car and then the actual production car would be way worse. Thus, recently, Tesla planned to use airless tires for the Cybertruck monstrosity with the first 100% sustainable material and maintenance-free tire. This tire is supplied by Goodyear, one of the world's largest tire companies based in Ohio, USA. Goodyear's design non-pneumatic tire. Non-pneumatic literally means without air. Um, so as you can see from the structure itself, it does not require air to be able to support the vehicle providing a true worry-free mobility experience. Also known as non-pneumatic tires, airless tires have lower maintenance requirements than conventional tires and are better equipped to handle heavier loads. According to Tesla, which adds that since these tires are impervious to punctures, you can drive over nails, potholes, or the surface of Mars. Airless tires develop traction on sandy, undulated terrain in regions that humans have never even seen up close. It can carry about 10 times the weight and last for up to 100 times the distance. Goodyear also believes airless tires will be a better fit for vehicles beyond passenger cars, specifically autonomous shuttles that might be used for future mobility services to move people and goods around urban centers. Part of the development process will involve testing airless tires on autonomous vehicles and last mile delivery robots. Which all sounds absolutely fascinating, but what about the structure of the Cybertruck's airless tires? So what you actually see is the, the, the connecting structure go into compression, so it actually envelops any obstacles that are in the road, actually being able to provide uh, a more comfortable ride than a traditional tire. In a tweet, Elon Musk said that Tesla's pressurized edition of the Cybertruck will be the official truck of Mars, making it seemingly so that this particular design is aimed at colonizing Mars. The new Cybertruck tire has three main components, a shear band, which includes the tread, a connecting web, and the wheel. The connecting web, it explains, is the most critical element as, in combination with the shear band, it supports the weight of the vehicle and gives the feel of a pneumatic tire. The tires might have springy metal ribs. The tread surfaces could also be metal, but they wouldn't have the typical solid blocky tread you'd see on land tires. The lower spokes do deform and absorb some of the weight of the vehicle. The hub of an airless tire is also hanging from the spokes attached to the top of the tire. Carrying the load this way distributes the load more evenly across the entire wheel. This means that the pressure directly underneath the tire is less, giving it a softer footprint, which makes airless wheels ideal for off-road use. It's more like an open weave or a mesh with different kinds of three-dimensional characteristics, said Michael Rachita, a senior program manager for non-pneumatic tires at Goodyear. Tires will need to use special metal alloys to withstand extreme temperature changes while maintaining flexibility and strength. But it's got a really crazy design and cool construction, I, I have to admit. 
The company recently announced that prototype tires have completed 75,000 miles of testing at speeds up to 100 miles per hour in temperatures ranging from scorching heat to snow, and also wet and dry roads couldn't stop them. With this special design, it will give wings to Cybertruck with a speed of about 160 miles per hour. These tires have a rubber or plastic internal connecting structure that handles well on rougher terrain and won't go flat, reducing the need for maintenance and making the product longer lasting. Let's talk about the airless tires lifespan. Normal tires typically degrade faster the more you drive on them. The condition of the road surface on which you drive has an impact on tire longevity as does how well you maintain your tires. Despite all these caveats, the general rule of thumb is that a tire can last up to 10 years if it doesn't degrade past the legal limit in that time. For comparison, the new tires will need to traverse much longer distances and potentially have years of durability which could be about 50 years according to Goodyear. Tires like the ones we use on Earth, made from rubber and filled with air, won't work on the moon. Enormous temperature swings from up to 260 degrees Fahrenheit in the daytime down to negative 280 degrees at night make an air-filled tire impossible. Air expands and contracts as temperature changes, so keeping an air-filled tire from going flat at night or exploding during the day would be difficult. The new tire capabilities would allow for years of durability and even survival in temperatures as low as negative 250 degrees Fahrenheit at night and as high as 250 during the day. The vehicle will either be driven by astronauts or operate autonomously without a crew. There is currently no estimated price for the tire, but it'll probably cost several times more than a regular air tire. However, with the use of this tire, you won't have to spend time repairing it when it's punctured. Spending a larger amount of money to buy a longer lasting tire is definitely the right and economical choice. An airless tire would be perfect for off-roading where you'll be away from most people and in a rugged environment. Moreover, this tire makes the Cybertruck look more powerful and feel more powerful than any pickup truck in the world as well as being the first pickup truck capable of exploring Mars like spaceships or spacecrafts. How do you feel about the future of the Martian version of Cybertruck? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Other than that, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.